because there are some of us part of the global missions that will usher in the Christ some of us God is preparing us right now in this training ground and God is going to be sending you like the foxes of Samson across the nations of the earth but you will be a casualty to the body of Christ if you are not trained you see welcome to Kingdom Mirrors TV on this channel we post edifying content for your spirit and daily living Kindly like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification to get notified each time we post. Thank you, stay blessed, and enjoy this video. A training ground means where you are sharpened, you gain mastery. You may have heard me say it, and it bears repeating that the stage is not where you train. The stage is not for amateurs. Are we together now? The stage is is a testament that you have been trained and vetted and accredited and now God can give you an opportunity to be a blessing even though learning continues but that there is a threshold of mastery that you have gained so that you do not become an embarrassment to the name of the Lord the stage is not for rehearsals the wilderness is the place of rehearsal Moses was being trained in the palace and because the location was wrong the job was bad Moses' training in the palace ended up being a waste God had to relocate him to the wilderness for his training to be proper there were many things because you don't receive training in a palace the wilderness was designed you ask military people they will tell you when you go to the school of infantry they simulate the environment to be able to build capacity am I right on that even though that military man will later become a general and have all kinds of aids around him, he may enjoy the blessings when he becomes a general. It will be a foolish military man, respectfully speaking, who would just go to NDA and, and want luxury at the same time. He wants to sit down on the same chair the general is sitting on. Are we together? It doesn't work that way. If you happen to see the training of people in NDA, you will think those training them were wicked. Because it looks like there is a messless and brutal training. They crawl through grounds. They jump through ropes. They do all kinds of things. Even at the point of injury, it does not look like the trainer is touched. Because that's how he became a master himself. Are we together? Yes. Now, many believers do not want to submit to training because of our, our appetite our appetite for comfort and comfort is a good thing except that the bible says that every man that strives for mastery listen carefully he said he is not crowned unless he strives lawfully nobody wins the olympic by mistake you do not see a world champion an olympian a world champion just strolling around maybe kicking footballs or just moving a few meters and then he goes to stand to compete do you know that everybody that comes to run an olympic final was the best in their locality and yet somebody will still take the last position are we together yes the training of a champion when you come to the school of the spirit there is a way god builds faith in men there is a way grace comes to men. Watch the way the anointing is made, the anointing oil. You do not just go and pluck olive and start eating. No, there is a, a, a system of crushing. It's from that crushing that the oil now begins to come. Believers, hear me, let me tell you. There is the season that some of us are in now may look like a it may negate the truth of scripture because it does not yet appear the things that you read in scripture and your life may not seem to match and because satan is a master of the sense realm he may deceive you into believing that you are not making progress the bible says in romans chapter 8 from verse 18 it says for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us are we together even Jesus, your Jesus, you would think because he came as the word incarnate, supernaturally. I mean, why would Jesus take 33 years as a savior? Was he that weak to have allowed that length of time? 
you would imagine that you would have even landed as an adult conquered satan if is it not death nail my hand and let me die and resurrect and be on my way out of this place no it's interesting that jesus had to be born as a baby because the last adult god created messed up a lot of things he came without growth now jesus had to come as a baby and he began to grow at age 12 the word went to learn scriptures the word incarnate the bible says he went to sit down under the scribes and the pharisees learning the things that he would soon abolish but he still submitted himself and for 18 years jesus was about learning because the bible would tell us that he entered the temple as his custom was are we together now submitting himself to training at age 30 now he's ready for ministry and he goes to meet john the prophet who now baptizes him and releases him he now further goes to the wilderness again to fast and pray for 40 days tempted of the devil then the bible says he returned in the power of the spirit and the next thing we hear is a manifestation like an inferno he literally took all the decapolis everywhere the value of training are we together and even with that training he almost gave up at gethsemane and yet there are many people who think all there is to destiny actualization is downloading the blueprint of their prophetic destiny and just because you are now aware that you have been called to be a prophet an apostle a pastor an entrepreneur we just imagine that the awareness of the destination automatically guarantees arrival no sir no sir knowing where you need to go to is excellent but building capacity capacity that if you faint in the day of battle the bible says it is because your strength is small are we together so many believers do not submit themselves to training there are many people respectfully speaking jumping and rejoicing god has called me to be a man of god i'm going to go around the world but you look at them and the only thing they have is just the picture of where they are going to there is nothing they are doing they are not walking by the spirit to build the kind of stamina and capacity the bible says an heir as long as he's a child is that in your bible that he differed nothing from a slave but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed hallelujah yes even john who would later manifest as a prophet a major part of his life was in the wilderness eating locusts and wild honey the mother of john did not have the opportunity to enjoy her child how about samuel who later became a mighty prophet that none of his word fell to the ground all his life was spent in the temple do you know what it means to give birth to a child and carry that child and donate that child to god as a baby he slept in the presence of god when his colleagues were running around playing little children there's no record that Samuel had the opportunity to play with other children and other colleagues. A major part of his childhood was sacrificed because of the prophetic destiny. No wonder his word did not fall to the ground. Samuel was such a powerful prophet that if you saw him, it was as though you had seen God. When Saul lost their donkey, they were advised to go and see him. That there is a seer. We know that if we see him, an end will come to this men can become like God when they allow God to train them let me tell you the truth you can manifest godlike capacities not just believe not just agree theoretically that you should the experience of that godlike dimension is manifested at the place of training Jesus mentored his disciples more than crusades that he had when you study your Bible, the, the crusades that Jesus had that were recorded in scripture were countable. A major part of his ministry was invested training those who would become the apostles of the Lamb. And even with that training, he still told them, tarry in Jerusalem. In Acts chapter 10, in Matthew chapter 10, 
when you read from verse 1 he commissioned them and you would think that was a license to go and start gave them power against unclean spirits and to do all kinds of things verse 7 he says as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand prove the validity of that kingdom by healing the sick by casting out devils verse 8 says cleansing the lepers raising the dead casting out devils freely you have received freely give the bible says they went and they returned with a report they said even the demons were subject to us he said no that is not your pride you just rejoice that your names are written in heaven let the lecture continue and he acted as if they did not do anything to the point that when jesus rose from the dead ascended to heaven when he was crowned king and lord he returned back and is over a period of 40 days he still gathered them he said let the lectures continue the power of training many believers want to become masters please listen to me this is a very powerful message so that you do not waste your impartation believers deceptfully believe that the anointing generically makes people indefinitely powerful regardless of the training no the size of the vessel matters the vessel can reveal the potential of the oil if the vessel is small the oil can look small the problem is not the oil the problem is the kind of container carrying it the prophet said i know the reason why you are having limitations he said go and borrow vessel expand your capacity borrow not a few There are many people who would not allow themselves to be trained by the Spirit. We run away from seasons of training and we clamor for manifestations, especially our generation. Listen, this is a call to be cautious. There is always seed time and harvest. There is always seed time and harvest. When God wants to show you mercy, He can bring acceleration to your seed time. But that seed time, you will pass through it. There is a law of process. When Elisha came and met the woman in Shunem, he told her, according to the time of life, it is still a miracle, but I submit that miracle to the sequence of life. And John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing. Are we together? Training is powerful. There are many, many business people today who are not able to excel because they had desires and they freelance knowledge but they were not trained there are many preachers today who desire to do so much for God at a global scale their hearts very open but they were not trained blessed are your eyes for they see these things blessed are your ears for they hear these things Jesus knew the value of training and he told them tarry and whilst they were waiting over a period of 40 days he still came and taught them on the matters of the kingdom look at the ratio of training to outpouring three and a half years to one day you see that we waste a lot of impartation in church because there are people who are not trained we have flipped the ratio and impartation is happening every day upon people who are completely bankrupt of training so it's just like pouring oil on the ground we may fall and stand up we may shake and shout all of these things may happen and the same people stand up and there is no testament of mastery because there was no training is someone learning yes sir once upon a time, the same apostles of the Lamb who had now gained mastery, laying hold on eternal life, as the Bible would put it, they went to heal an epileptic patient and they embarrassed themselves so painfully. It was such an embarrassment. And they returned back and said, why couldn't we do this, Jesus? I thought we were already masters. And he looked at them. Paraphrasing, there is still a lot you need to learn. There are many kinds you are now learning. The kind you met on your way. There was a dynamic that you engaged that made the demons go. Remember, they were happy. Even the demons were subject in your name. And they still use that formula. And for this case, it looked like nothing happened. And Jesus said, there is something. The problem is not the demon. There is something that needs to happen to you. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. The demons never questioned power. The demons never questioned the name. The demon questioned the individuals administering the power. 
it was not he said Jesus I know there is a testament in the spirit we know the name even the demons know that name and they tremble but someone else comes to use that same name I adjure you by Jesus and the demons say it doesn't work like that leave this place how do you call the name of Jesus correct Jesus genuine name and a demon beats you is that not a lesson to learn that means the name is not a charm there is something, there is a level of understanding that the vessel administering that name must have to release the power that is locked in the name. Watch this. I can carry this phone and give one of our little ones here and he can be holding a phone that has capacity to do so much but because of ignorance either by age or knowledge, the person can be standing with a phone and not be able to make a call. And you will wonder, look at this person is shortchanging himself or herself because the vessel really matters. Listen, I know that we are focused on the various forces that provide victory for the believer, but we need to concentrate on the vessels who will administer that. If the vessels were not important, Jesus would just die, resurrect, and just choose people. He would not choose people before after his uh, before his resurrection he would choose them after his resurrection after all it did not matter only the name or only the blood but he began the training while they were waiting for all of these forces of redemption to be given to them preacher it will not just happen just by opening your bible and closing it and then declaring demons leave you may be disappointed like stated in the bible it may not always be just by believing that things will just manifest like that there is a capacity requirement are we together now a capacity requirement and that comes through training because there are some of us part of the global missions that will usher in the christ some of us god is preparing us right now in this training ground and god is going to be sending you like the foxes of samson across the nations of the earth but you will be a casualty to the body of christ if you are not trained you see the lopsidedness in your training will be evident by the time you manifest if you don't stay to be trained properly the areas that you did not cover in your training will be very evident there will be a widespread lopsidedness for instance if you are trained in prayer and you are not trained in other dimensions how the provisions of God comes are we together how to access favor from men you will be surprised that by the time you start ministry you will be a mighty prayer warrior but poverty will make you look as if you are fake and you will be surprised i am praying i am sincere why are the supplies of heaven not coming or reverse the case you may be properly taught in the area of accessing the wealth of the kingdom and you will find out that your spiritual life is lean you do not have power and capacity in the spirit one manifestation of darkness will take everything you have accumulated over a lifetime because there was lopsidedness in that training is someone learning we are called to gain mastery we are not called to guess the precepts of the kingdom that make great are defined and if you can be methodically trained line upon line precepts upon precepts i like how the bible puts it it says now are we the sons of god but it does not yet appear it is not the reality it is the appearance we're talking about that now it is a fact that we are the sons of god but the manifestation of the same for our world to see will be subject to training when you hold a seed watch this when you hold a maize seed or beans or whatever it is you hold it and you look at it there are many trees you are holding are we together but you cannot eat the fruit there you, you don't you cannot even count the number of trees that are in that seed but you have to plant it water it and patiently wait and then it grows and now starts to bear fruit and many other seeds come from that one seed that is how it is Are we learning now let me charge us along let me charge us along three secrets 
equipping the saints haven't drawn our minds to the fact that if believers are not trained they will not excel as far as this faith adventure is